the detection of reducing compounds with 3,5-dinitrosalicylic acid. Attention! 3,5-dinitrosalicylic acid can cause irritations of the eyes, skin and respiratory tract and is toxic if swallowed. Sodium hydroxide is caustic. Acid aldehyde is carcinogenic, flammable and can cause irritation of the eyes and respiratory tract. I don't take any responsibility for damage done to persons or property caused by the recreation of this experiment. To prepare the DNS reagent, 0.5 grams of 3,5-dinitrosalicylic acid are added to a 50 ml volumetric flask. In the lab, more substances like potassium sodium tartrate, phenol and sodium sulfide are added to increase the stability and sensitivity of the reagent. To this, 10 ml of a 2 molar sodium hydroxide solution are added. The yellow sodium salt of the dinitrosalicylic acid is formed immediately. The beaker was washed out two times with some distilled water to add the rest of the acid. The solid dissolved very slowly so the flask was filled up further. In the beginning a wash bottle can be used for this but at the end a pipette should be preferred. It is filled up until the lower meniscus of the solution hits the mark. Then the flask is panned occasionally until all of the solid has dissolved completely. This took about one and a half hours. Next, four test tubes have been prepared. The first one was a blank and contained nothing. The second one contained 0.1 grams of saccharose. The third one contained 0.1 grams of glucose and to the last one a solution of acid aldehyde will be added. Then 5 ml of distilled water were added to each test tube. To the last one 5 ml of distilled water containing a drop of acid aldehyde were added. The tubes were shaken to dissolve the sugar. To each sample 1 ml of the 1% DNS reagent was added and the solutions mixed well. After that all samples were heated for 5 minutes in a boiling water bath. The following reaction takes place. The nitro group on the third carbon is reduced to an amine group by reducing compounds. As an example for the latter, an aldehyde is used. The product is 3-amino-5-nitrosalicylic acid, which has a red color. The result corresponds to the expectations. The blank and the saccharose didn't react because the latter is not a reducing sugar. The glucose is a reducing sugar which is why it has reacted obviously. The acid aldehyde was only present with a low concentration which is why the color is not as strong, but it can be seen well in comparison to the blank. Next a dilution series with glucose was prepared where the concentration was decreased to half of the amount in every new sample, beginning at 1%. In the quantitative detection the samples are cooled with ice after the heating to prevent further reaction. It can be seen that the intensity decreases with a lower concentration. What seems to be wrong is that the concentration at 1% seems to be lower than at 0.5%. A possible explanation might be that the concentration of glucose was too high for the detection. Usually the concentrations are kept between 0.1 and 0.01% for the measurement. In the lab the samples are then diluted and the absorption is measured at a wavelength of 540 nanometers. This was the detection of reducing compounds with 3,5-dinitrosalicylic acid. I hope you enjoyed. Please rate and comment.